Uh, this is uh, question 8 now from the June 2010 BY1 paper. Um, this is the uh, long answer question and we're looking at part A. Uh, it's asking us to describe the events that occur during one complete cell cycle, including mitosis in an animal cell. Now, with this, uh, with this type of essay, um, you, uh, you need to be able to quote uh, quite a number of features that the... Uh, and events that the cell is undergoing during uh, each stage uh, of the cell cycle. So that includes interphase as well as the stages of mitosis. Remember, mitosis is split into prophase, metaphase, anaphase, and telophase. Um, so what I want to do is just bring up uh, the notes that uh, are in the app for you. Um, this is the page on interphase. Okay. Um, what I would recommend uh, for this for this essay uh, is actually not to draw any diagrams. Uh, it doesn't ask you to draw diagrams. It just asks for a, a description. OK, and I think if you start tr drawing diagrams when you don't have to and you get them wrong, uh, you may start to lose marks. So in this case, because they haven't asked you to do so, I, I personally wouldn't. But please remember, um, you do have to be able to recognize cells in uh, interphase and in the stages of mitosis uh, for other questions. Okay, so you should know uh, what these cells look like anyway. Uh, you may have to identify them in, in, in other questions. Uh, but for this essay, I think you just need to, to write um, in paragraph form, in sentence form about uh, the features of the cell and, and what events are occurring during each stage uh, of the cell cycle. Uh, so interphase is pretty straightforward, isn't it? Just state that, uh, you know, DNA uh, is being replicated. You get uh, protein synthesis uh, occurring, um, ATP production by respiration. There's a lot that you can mention uh, for interphase. Um, OK, if I scroll down now to the mitosis section, the first stage, of course, is prophase. Now, with the structuring of this essay, I would do it um, in the correct order. So I would start off with uh, interphase and then I would go on to prophase. Um, so in prophase, of course, you've got the condensing, the shortening of the chromatin to form visible chromosomes. Uh, certainly state um, the structure of a chromosome. You'll get marks for mentioning uh, the uh, sister chromatids and uh, indeed the uh, centromere. So, of course, there's the centromere there. OK, and attached to that centromere are the two sister chromatids. Uh, the other thing you can say, of course, is the um, centrioles, which I've uh, circled there in red, actually move to the poles of the cell. OK, so there they are at, uh, at the poles. OK, uh, the other thing that's happening during prophase is the, the nuclear envelope is, is being broken down and uh, begins to disappear. And you also get the, the formation of uh, spindle fibres as well. OK, so metaphase now is the next stage. Um, the chromosomes are uh, lined up along the equator. The spindle fibres have completely formed. They span from pole to pole. And importantly, the chromosomes are attached to the spindle fibres uh, via the centri, uh, centromeres. OK, and that's, that's pretty much all you can say about metaphase. Uh, anaphase, of course, now, uh, this is the stage where the um, spindle fibres shorten and contract, and they pull the sister chromatids to opposite poles. So always remember to say they are pulled to opposite poles. Some people like to say they're pushed. They're not. They're clearly pulled uh, to the uh, opposite poles. Mention that the uh, centromeres divide. OK. And uh, that really should be, should be fine for anaphase. Lastly, then, you've got telophase. Uh, this is where cytokinesis occurs. You get division of the cytoplasm and um, you actually get two new daughter cells being produced and these two daughter cells now uh, you get the reforming of the nuclear envelope around the chromosomes 
okay and ultimately then the the two daughter cells will actually end back up in uh, interphase as I've just shown there by my red uh, bracket all right um, you can actually even say um, that the uh, centrioles uh, replicate there which which does occur during interphase you get doubling of the, uh, the centrioles okay uh, so that was just a quick run through of the type of things you need to put into this essay um, so I've typed out uh, an answer for you okay um, if you read through it all right what I would advise as usual is you write out these essays in your own words uh, trying to get in all the key points um, as you go in along I know there is one thing I haven't put in this essay and that's to say that the um, centrioles move uh, to, to opposite poles I haven't said that in the essay so that's potentially a mark lost all right um, but hopefully I've picked up uh, marks in other areas as well so if I just scroll down for you and there's the uh, the end of uh, my essay so um, if we look at the uh, the mark scheme then okay uh, it's pretty straightforward all right um, nothing unusual in there really uh, just as long as you make sure you state the name of the stages and link that with what is happening in those stages remember if you if you are describing prophase and you get a little bit mixed up and you start describing events that occur in metaphase you will lose marks all right the events have to link up with the correct stages uh, in your essay okay so if I scroll down to the end uh, there so it goes up to marking point O all right and uh, that uh, that concludes then question eight uh, part A.